All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is a channel where we do Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing the next 48 for you. This is going to be a pretty deep reading, but I just had a pretty good laugh getting started. <laughs> and the reading cut off when I started. So I had to restart my computer because I'm like, I can't have this happen during this reading. So I feel like this is a message somebody really needs to hear. But y'all, so I did I did the um like the shuffle where I did like a random song. And so uh, um that's gonna be the energy of this reading. Excuse me. So goodness, let me turn that down. So let me tell you, I um, listen to YouTube music. That's my choice of uh, streaming service for my music or whatnot, because you play a song and it like kind of like um, it curates your playlist based off of the song that you pick. Right. I listen to a lot of Teddy Pendergrass. OK, I listen to a lot of old music, things like that. So I was laughing my butt off when the universe picked the song for the energy of this reading and i was just like really spirit guys but okay so i'm going to tell you guys it's already pinned in the comment section when by the time you watch this so you can take a listen to yourself have a laugh yourself but it's called i miss you i let me see i don't even know who the group is i think i've, I've heard the song before back in the day but i don't know the it's featuring teddy pendergrass which is why i, I laugh but by Harold uh, Melvin in the Blue Notes. And it's I Miss You. And I'm going to read you the lyrics real quick, just so you know. Like this song, I was cracking up, but the energy of the song is somebody missing somebody terribly bad, terribly so. Um, and I'm going to read you a little bit. And it says, I miss you, baby. I swear I do miss you. Ever since you went away, I am doing nothing but thinking of you with my head in my hands. You've been away for so long and I just don't think I can carry on. So I start drinking, 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 drinking each and every night, trying to drown all my loneliness away. I don't forget a day, fall down on my knees, wishing for your return and oh, how I hurt because I miss you. You can look at my eyes and see that a great big man like me has been crying, 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 crying my heart and soul out to you, baby crying. So you can listen to the rest of it. But I just thought that was hilarious. because I was like, what? <laughs> what? But it makes sense with this energy here. So it's either somebody is missing you terribly, Aries, or they may be going to miss you based off of the energy that is here for this reading. So let me show you here. So the overall energy of this reading, the first card out from the wisdom of the Oracle was fork in the road. Okay. A decision that needs to be made. I remember when I read the book, the wisdom of the Oracle, which I will read in the moment, I immediately thought, am I going to have to read the romance portion? Cause I just, my eyes just went to that. And from the angel answers came out romance. So that is, this is definitely a romantic reading, a love reading of some sort here for the next 48 also, what came out was failure. And it says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And also from the good tarot, we got the four of air, which is thinking. Like the song says, thinking, thinking, thinking. Somebody may not be speaking, but they may be doing a lot of thinking, a lot of healing. And this could be you, Aries, as well, in deep contemplation about what you need to do with this fork in the road. This could be a decision that you need to make or a decision that you've already made. So let me go ahead. I'm going to read, since I have this open now, the four of air here, because I just want, it's just a little different and they have like a poem in here. It says, healing, meditation, rest, recuperation. It's time to rest my mind and allow peace to take the place of busyness or boredom. The mind needs quiet to think and find clarity. If I allow my mind to rest, I will have greater clarity and my mind will be sharper. This is a time for a break. I need to take care of myself. Yeah, somebody. So this fork in the road, I feel like is a decision, a romantic decision that somebody is faced to make. And they, you know, like it might, for some of you, it may not even be like where there's real trouble. There may be a situation where you have to choose between someone else and yourself. You know that, you know, all breakups are not because someone cheated, somebody did something dirty, somebody, you know, sometimes it's just you finding you and you realize that this person can't go with you to the next level, even though you still love them. Okay. Now, some of you could have been holding on to a situation where there was a lot of infidelity and you've just been holding on and now you're ready to choose you as well. Okay. 
there could be a decision here where somebody needs to move in with somebody and, and it's like, if they don't want to, then that might be the end of the relationship. So with romance, and now we have fork in the road, which is number 13, which is the card of the death card here. So endings that bring new beginning transformations here. So let's take a look here <clears throat> for, I feel like that numbering was strategic, but fork in the road. Okay. Time to make a decision considering the consequences as you prepare to act and owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. All right. So it says every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? And will you take the road less traveled or the one well-worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make circumstances and other people will not circumstances and other people will not make it for you be present and do not avoid this junction for it is an important crossroads take heart as no matter which path you choose you will have a rich and meaningful experience okay so let me read the relationship message it says you've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship which will you choose to open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated, to go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to, to, or to walk away? This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest and give, then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with a relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of genuine connection. All roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a truer experience of the heart. Okay, so let's get into it. I want to say this at the bottom of the <clears throat> at the bottom of the good tarot also was the ace of water which is the ace of cups and the ten of water underneath it could be a new love it could be a new love with inside of yourself renewing the love within you okay so since we have romance here i'm going to pull from the lover's oracle let's take a look here for aries sun moon venus and rising what do we have here for aries who is at a fork in the road in love and relationships Let's see here for Aries. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Holy Spirit, Spirit, and Angels. Okay. So it says here, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay. So there may be a situation here where you're resenting somebody because of their actions, what they did to you or have done to you or what they're doing to you. Okay. Got a little cold. I have to put my robe on. So let's see here. Holy Spirit. Let's see here for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? We have storm warning. <clears throat> an upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, and drama. So you may have been getting some sort of red flags, Aries, or there could have been a warning of what this is leading up to, or I did lead up to. Okay. So tell us more here for Aries. Ooh, we have addiction, <clears throat> toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, and obsession. So somebody could be obsessed with you. There could be a toxic attachment. Somebody could also be using, we'll see here. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. We have Roll the Dice. That card's been coming out a lot. So that says, take a chance, risk, leap of faith, and strategy. So you have a decision to make here, Aries. Give us one more here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Ooh, and we have Hookup. So one night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, and fling. Maybe this is a situation that started as a hookup and led to more. Maybe somebody took a chance 
something did something risky and hooked up with someone else. Okay. We got, um, and this could have been a part of some sort of addiction or things like that. <laughs> Romantic feelings and single. There could be an energy of a meeting somebody new coming in as well. So let me, let me figure out how to get this to deck. Really, this energy here. All right, what does Aries need to know? Confirmation for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Earth. Three cards. Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Soulmates. We got soulmates and someone is jealous of your vibe, evil eye. That could be somebody connected in this relationship or somebody, it could be a third party. Okay. And we got, you can trust them. Okay. So this could be the soulmate energy here. So this is love. So trust may not be a factor in your dynamic, your relationship. It may just be whether or not you are going to continue on this journey with this person. If it's not, oh, I'm hearing you can trust yourself too. But if that's not the, if not, if that's not the case here, Aries, this may be a decision here, whether or not you're trying to figure out if you can trust someone or not. If what they're saying is truthful, is what they're saying is honest, is this something that's going to continue? Let's pull here from the romance angels. Religious factors, let go of control issues and let your friends help you all fell out. So let me shuffle it really good. I'm also seeing that somebody may have made a choice. It may not be you who made this decision. Aries could have been somebody else who made this decision. All right. So let's take a look here. What is what is happening for Aries? Give us three cards. We had retreat at the bottom of the deck. So religious factors did end up coming out because this, so this is a strong soulmate connection here. Um, and it says your love life is influenced by your religious and upbringing and your spiritual path. Also, this mean, this could also mean that there could be a parting of ways between two lovers because of your spiritual awakening, your spiritual path, you know, the road that you're going down now, they may, it may not be what you need anymore from this person. You also have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Mm -hmm. Could there be a decision between two? We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. There is a lot going on here. A lot going on here. And I'm going to put just a few more before we get into the spread. <laughs> All right. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? That light just got brighter. Okay. So something is here with us again. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow let me deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Shuffle real good. Before we get into this, all right, we're ready. So brunette, brunette female wanted to be seen. Darker hair, intense focus. Wow. So this is a very intense relationship. Karma, toxic story, new opportunities. The first card that we have that came out was past love in the past, past lover. We have destiny, luck, chance meant to be, and we have true gem. 
valuable quality jewelry, quality and jewelry. Okay. So this could be somebody here and, and the past love came in reverse. So I don't know if this is a past lover, past life lover. I don't know if they have that in this deck. So we'll see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here for Aries in this dynamic, in this relationship. Holy Spirit, Spirits and Angels, please allow me to have a clear message here for Aries. What is the situation here that Aries is dealing with with this fork in the road energy spirit? What is this relationship? What is this energy? I'm seeing things. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I just saw something, a little flake of something. Let's see here. Y'all, if a face ever appears on the screen, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but anyways, let's take a look. Holy Spirit, okay. Here it is, the Eight of Cups. Somebody is in this energy of letting go of something or there could be feelings that are fading or somebody here is trying to walk away from emotions because they know where they were at with this particular person or relationship. It's not going to bring them to their Ten of Cups. So somebody is leaving to go search for their true soulmate or what their soul, what is calling to their soul. Okay. What are the, what, you know, this is, could be, yeah, two of swords here. There's a decision here that somebody needed to make because they knew that the future with somebody was uncertain. All right. What did I say? I called it <laughs> the 10 of cups. Somebody was, is going to look for their 10 of cups, so the eight of cups and the 10 of cups here. You're walking away from this eight that we're not serving you to go find that two. Okay. And that was that make the 10 of cups here. So the 10 of cups is in this challenged position. I feel like this is the energy of someone thinking that they don't want to settle. You may have a good thing going on or had a good relationship going on, but you know that there was more. It wasn't someone that completely ticked all the boxes, but you may have been settling for what they could do for you and things like that. But the situation may have been toxic because we got addiction, toxic attachment. Okay. But spirit is saying here that you need to heed this warning. You got the storm warning. So somebody could be showing signs that are very unhealthy. Um, even they could be obsessive or were obsessive, or they could have been hooking up with people, you know, taking chances, gambling with the roll of dice, gambling your relationship. It could be a whole bunch of different things. Like some of it is not cheating. Some of it is like where people here were just, not giving you space to breathe and be yourself. And you knew that that was not putting you in your 10 of cups energy, your complete fulfillment. You know, that's not something that you could probably put up with a long time. Others of you, there was definitely cheating. Okay. Um, maybe even jealousy in the connection, or there could have been a third party that was jealous. So we'll see here. Tell me about the 10 of, tell me about what does Aries need to focus on in this situation? Five of wands. Where's the drama coming from Aries? Where is the arguing? What is this? This is something here that you cannot ignore. Does somebody put you in a competition? Is somebody always arguing? Is somebody always making something an issue? You know, whatever this is, spirit is saying that you cannot ignore this because this, if it's a, if it's an issue now in the relationship, it's going to continue to be an issue further on as time goes on. Just see here. So in the past here, the two of cups here, you felt like you found your soulmate or that's what you've been praying for, wishing for, hoping for. The two of cups is a representation of something or someone here where it is like equally low, yoked. You know, when we're talking about a romantic relationship, this is someone where it's balanced. You fill their cup, they fill your cup. This could have been something that you've been praying for, wishing for, or thought that you found within a person, within a relationship. Tell us more here. What is Aries strength in this situation? What is crowning them? The Knight of Pentacles. We have the Emperor here. So the Knight of Pentacles here is someone here, when we're talking about in romance, who is very reliable. You can depend on them. Okay. Even though it may not be a full blown commitment, this is something here that you're heading towards. I'm also feeling like Aries, this is the energy that you bring as well. 
right? Or this is the energy that you're wanting to embody and that you're bringing into your future relationships. So you expect this in return. Okay. You expect somebody to be giving just as much as you investing just as much as you and somebody here who is future, who is focused on the long haul, right? The, wanting to get to the commitment, the 10 of pentacles here. I feel like not settling on anything less is what's going to get you there. You know? Um, yeah, you can give people chances and time and all of this, but when your intuition starts to tell you that something is not working out or is not in alignment with yourself, it's time for you to make a decision. Tell us here what's coming towards Aries in the near future or this situation ship. This situation ship? I said situation ship. And this relationship. Or there could have been a situation ship, okay? <sighs> Burdens. Somebody could send you a message here that gives you a, a lot to think about or could be very heavy, all right? You could have very romantic feelings with this person where the romance is not completely dead, but there's a lot of burdens and a lot of baggage that come with this romance. And the thing is, you're contemplating trying to see if this person is even all the way in it. Because if you see here with this Knight of Cups, his back is turned. You know, it's almost like he's dumping his drama or his baggage on you and he gets to go back and forth in between whatever the situation is, okay? Maybe it could be a long distance situation or where you guys are not fully connected, but romantically involved, okay? Um, the, the Knight of, the Knight of, I keep wanting to say the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups is somebody here who brings a lot of romantic energy, but then they also leave when they feel like what they've gotten, what they, they, they need. I don't know, Aries. I feel like there's could be an ending coming here because something is too heavy to bear. You have two tens now. So you have 10, 10, something here has run its course or it's, it's the end of the road. We got the page of swords here is in your energy. You could be searching for something new or learning more about yourself as you heal. And so when you start to heal, you start to change really what you attract and what you want and what you desire. Could be somebody here who's not in alignment with you and, and your healing and your journey. Okay. Um, and so this is like, you're seeking out more information Aries. You could be spying or trying to figure somebody out as well. Tell me more. Um, tell me what's in Aries environment. Seven of Pentacles. Can this person invest is the question. There's somebody here contemplating about investing. King of Cups here, they love you. There's a lot of emotions, but can they invest in the connection like you need them to? Will it be reciprocated? Will it be equal? Will it be a waste of time? Or will this be something that grows to what you want? You know, what will this full potential look like? Let's see here. Oh, that fell out. We got the Emperor. Tell me more about Aries. What is Aries wanting to manifest and desire, hoping for, wishing for here? Three of Cups. Celebrations, union. This could also be a reconciliation you're hoping for, praying for. Um, I feel like Aries, you know, there's been a lot of difficult um, situations in your past and you're really wanting somebody that you could just be happy with. You know, I'm feeling like that you can enjoy your successes with, that you can come together with, maybe even create a family with or blend a family with. Tell me about the outcome in this situation and what does Aries need to know? And what does Aries, hangman, hey I feel like Aries, this is a real situation where you're at a crossroads. You have a decision to make. There may be more information coming in or somebody's actions may give you the information that you need to see because the hangman energy here is kind of waiting before you do anything because there's more information coming in. There's something that needs to be illuminated. All right. This is the kind of energy where you're in meditation and you're contemplating about what your next step is. But I'm seeing here that there's some information that's coming in very quickly. There may be an argument or there may be some words that are exchanged that is going to allow you to see something very clear. Okay. I feel like just ultimately here, you're in this limbo because you don't know whether or not to move forward completely with someone to leave them behind, or you're wanting to know if you made the right decision. Let's see here. Oh, 
most clarified. Okay. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, which is at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, the first card out, the strongest energy. I feel like some areas of your emotions is running out for somebody or you're wanting to walk away from something. The two, what did I say in the beginning of the reading? Oh my gosh. I said somebody is walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling to go find their two of cups, right? Look what came out. The two of cups. That's what you, Aries, look at this. You, literally, you're leaving something here. It could be a relationship or something that just was not as emotionally fulfilling as it should have been. It could have been a hard, it could have been hard work. You know, relationships are work, but if you're the only one putting in it in, in any in any effort, then it's not worth it. You're gonna feel drained and depleted all the time if you're the one that's always giving, always being understanding, always caring. You know what I'm saying? Always pouring into the other one. If you're the one that's always, 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 you're gonna be the one that's always tired. And eventually you're gonna be over it. So you're going to find a relationship, um, a soulmate here who is going to be on the same page and on the same level as you, who's wanting to give just as much as you. You're not begging anybody to be in a relationship. You're not begging anybody to do what they're supposed to do. You're not begging anybody to check on you like you check on them or love you like you're loving them, right? You're not begging. So what you're going to do is walk away and you're going to go find this soulmate that you know, I feel like Aries is really calling to you. I feel like some of you could be in a situation where you do love the person, but you know there's something greater and there may be another soulmate out there for you. And there's always plenty of soulmates. Let me just say that. There's not one soulmate in your life, but there's something here that is calling you. There's calling you and they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. What does that look like? Not settling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got a good thing, but there might be a better thing out there. Stop settling on something just because you think that, you know, you may be single or there might not be something. There's always something out there. And what you project is what's going to come. So if you're optimistic about your love life, if you're in a positive, you know, there's always something better. That's the mindset you have to say. As much as you may love one person, there's always something greater if they're not in alignment with you. Okay. So let's take a look here at this Ten of Cups in the challenge position. Ooh, the King of Wands in reverse. So there's somebody here in this connection where they were very in, the, in their ego. They had a good thing and they didn't really realize it. The King of Wands here is somebody who could be greedy, selfish, wanting other options. They could be, have addictions themselves, addicted, addicted to sex, you know, and things like that. When they had a happy home, they had a happy relationship, or this could be somebody here who's really controlling, very passionately controlling, you know, obsessive over a relationship or a connection. I'm seeing the Knight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So somebody very passionate. Tell us about the five of wands here is what Aries needs to focus on. The nine of swords. If you find yourself in a stressful situation more than you find yourself happy and relaxed and at peace, then you need to leave. Okay. If you find yourself arguing with somebody and drama and chaos more than you find yourself happy and at peace, then you need to leave. If you find yourself every other week, every other month in a third party situation, cheating, and you can't sleep at night and it's a toxic energy, then you need to leave. Okay. The five of wands and the nine of swords here is saying that somebody here is obsessing or can't even sleep at night because of the drama and chaos and conflict that is in their life due to a relationship. Nothing, nothing, nothing is worth your sanity. Nothing is worth your peace. Absolutely nothing. I don't care if you've been together for 17, 20, 35 years, kids, everything else. If you waking up every day and stress the fuck out over the person that's laying next to you, it is time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. You know, sometimes the hardest thing in life is walking away from somebody that you love. Sometimes the hardest thing is 
admitting that the love has run out. Okay. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're searching here, Aries. You're searching for the answers with inside of yourself. Tell me about the page of swords. I don't know if that wanted to come out. Yeah, the seven of cups was there. Definitely a lot of confusion and illusions you're trying to work through. Tell me more here about this page of swords. The hangman, which was in the outcome. You are definitely searching for answers with inside of yourself. And the outcome is saying that you got the page of swords in your energy where you're trying to make this decision. And then you got the hangman and the knight of swords. There's information. There's clarity coming. There's clarity coming. Three of swords here in reverse. You may be finding out or getting over some sort of heartbreak and, and realizing that there was nothing, nothing left to do within the connection. It could be a third party situation where you know you're in a third party situation, right? And you know that it's time for you to back out. Tell us about the hangman and the knight of swords and the outcome. Clarity. Yep. High priestess. There could be secrets that are being revealed. The high priestess sometimes can be a mistress card in relationship. So literally a mistress, a side piece could be messaging you and you, and there's going to be secrets being revealed, you know, things that you weren't aware of that helps you make this decision, or there's just going to be clarity. Okay. This could be messages here from spirit that hits you like a ton of bricks, like an epiphany here and helps you realize what you need to do. Tell us about the hangman, the high priestess and the night of swords tell me about this energy here spirit the chariot there's something that's coming to light some sort of information there's something here that's going to be discovered aries that may have been a secret that just may have been hidden or you just weren't listening to your intuition and it hits you like a ton of bricks and it's going to help you move forward although the chariot is forward movement it's success it's getting to the next stage in life it doesn't come it's not an easy thing to do just know though that when you do move forward it's the best option it's the best decision for you okay um give me one more here about this cherry you could be dealing with pisces you could be dealing with a cancer strong pisces energy the ten of cups so moving forward no matter what and it's just like what it said in the in the book here whatever you decide it looks, seems like it's going to be the right decision but moving forward for someone is what's going to bring you in this ten of cups Okay. It's going to bring you in this happiness. And I feel like for whoever I'm speaking to, there looks like there's some information that's going to be found out some secrets. It's going to bring you clarity. Okay. It's going to bring you clarity. It's going to be, it's going to be what you needed to hear. Okay. It's what you needed to hear. It may hurt, but it's something that you need to hear. Okay. Tell us about the 10 of wands in the future position. king of swords so the ten of wands and the king of swords here you're receiving clarity and you're making a decision no matter how you feel about it emotionally you know it's the right decision to make to cut this out with this ten of wands energy because it's been a lot of burdens hold very very heavy on you tell us about yeah the death card you're making the decision to end something it's a transformation. It's, it means that one door is closing so another can open. We got Scorpio energy here. Tell us more about this. The two of pentacles. So just keep saying you're making a decision. I feel like whatever this decision here is going to put you back into balance here, Aries. Somebody may be faced with a decision, like somebody may give somebody an ultimatum um, to change, to do better, to choose you, it, whatever it is. I feel like there's a decision that's going to be reached. Um, tell us about here. Tell us about the Knight of Pentacles that's at the top here. Wow, we got the sun. So Aries, when this energy comes into your life, when there's somebody here who's willing to invest and work on the connection with you, who's willing to bring in what you give to this connection, you know, you're on the right path. It may be a slower, progressive type of relationship, but it's leading to something that is going to last. There's somebody that you're dealing with that's not willing to compromise. You may, it may be time to reevaluate, reassess. Tell us about the seven of pentacles here. 
in your environment. Three of Wands. This is a manifestation waiting to come in. Look at that. The Ace of Wands. And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. I feel like this is, you may have to, you know, okay, sacrifice is the word. Sacrifice. Uh, the hangman here is the energy of sacrifice sometimes too, but you'd have to reevaluate. You may have to sacrifice, and I don't feel like it's a big sacrifice, but it's like, if it may be one situation that has to go to an order for another relationship to come in. And in this case, yeah, there could be cheating. There could be something going on, but you could just like find out what somebody's true feelings or intentions are for you. And the love still may be there, but when you realize what their intentions are and what their true feelings are, or whatever this may be, you're like, you know what? I can't do this. I can't keep continuing to be in a relationship where not if it doesn't give you everything that you need. And guess what? The other person doesn't deserve that either, unless they're using you as a placeholder or a space filler. Okay. Um, now I am getting the energy of there could be someone on the side here because we have this jealous energy here, but it's a common thing for your partner to be jealous. It could be a third party that's jealous or looking into a situation, but I'm getting this energy that somebody doesn't even know the full extent of what is going on or what's happening. So take that, take that as you will. Like, you know, somebody may be jealous of a situation where they don't even really know what's really happening what's really happening in the dynamic they're just jealous of what something looks like okay that could be you aries or that could be another person i do believe that there's a faded relationship or connection that's coming in somebody who's going to treat you like a true gem or is going to be a true gem the past love was in reverse so that means that either that past love needs to go you know maybe they're coming back or there's a situation here where you need to leave something in the past Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to pull actually a guardian angel card and close the reading. Holy Spirit, spirits and angels, please allow me to get my message here. Let's see what do we have. For Aries, what do they need to see? What does Aries need to see? What do they need to know? creativity and prayer. So anytime a prayer card shows up in the reading, there's only five prayer cards in this deck. So anytime a prayer card shows up, there's a very special energy. So I'm going to read that. And it says, dear guardian angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret and help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and fill your eternal love within and around me and help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. The creativity card. <clears throat> It says, we, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart. As we communicate with you through feeling and emotion, let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence and all is valid. You know, someone's creativity could be stifled here by a connection as well. There could be some need of healing an inner child. So there could be like feeling of abandonment issues, or that could be the reason why you don't want to let a particular situation go or all the situations or relationships that you've ever been in. You've hold, held on to them for dear life because you were afraid of abandonment or rejection. Okay. So there's something there with that. All right. So that's what I have here. Have you guys take care. Bye.